Do you know exactly when to use se and when to use su? Do I answer you or to you? And is it the same when I ask or different? Do you have a clear list of verbs which go with se and which verbs go with su? I thought so because I was looking high and low and didn't find anything sweet and short. So I made my own list and today I want to share it with you. Hi and welcome back to another video. Let's practice our little Greek. A couple of points before we get started. Number one, according to my own personal perception, there are more verbs that go with se than with su. Point two, once we know which verbs go with su, we automatically cancel all doubts in regards to the other persons. What I mean is, if I answer you is su apadao, then I answer him is automatically tu apadao. I answer her tis. We follow the list. No more doubts. Don't worry, we'll rehearse that too. Point three, and this is very helpful indeed. By knowing which verbs use su, we also automatically know which verbs need the preposition se. For example, we can say sentences such as I answer him, he answers them. But what about he answers his mom? So, since apadao is on my su list, it needs se. Apada se plus tin mana tu se and tin stin mana tu. And to make it even more clear, here's a verb that's not on my su list, rotao. And because rotao is not on my su list, I know for sure it doesn't get a se afterwards. Rotati manatu. This is heaven, a divine list, a hack, if you will. And by the way, if you like this kind of learning and practicing Greek, please like and subscribe and I will make more videos for us. The more that I see that you find my videos useful, the more motivated I am to share my findings. So how are we going to structure this? Of course, I can just give you my Su list. But if you're anything like me, you might not memorize it just like that. I know I wouldn't. Once I give you the 26 most important daily used verbs, why don't you stay around and practice with me? I'll give you a variety of sentences that will help you remember. And then we'll do a little mix where I will use verbs from my Sue list and verbs that are not on my list and you'll decide. And if you want to jump forward here, is when the Sue list starts. This is here when we'll start rehearsing. And here at this minute, we'll start the mix. Suapandao, Su grafo, Su vino, Su exigo, Su cano. Su leo, su milao, su stelno, su iposhome, su ftiachno, su chrisimevo, su areso, su anico. Su teriazo, pieno, su fonazo, 
su jarizo, su digno, su crostao, su riazete. And now I have a handful of verbs that can go with both, depending on what we want to say. Ferno, Catharizo, Sitao, Clino. Let's see a few sentences now, which use su or the equivalent mu tu, tis, tus, and after that I have a few sample sentences where you decide. Can I explain it to you? Borona su to exigiso. Can I explain it to the guys? Boro na to exigiso sta pedia. We need to use sta. It suits you nicely. Su teriazi poli. Does he like the ice cream? Tuaresito pagoto? I will give it to you later. Tasuto doso argotera. I told her yesterday. Tistoipa thes. I promise you. Sutoi poschome. I sent it to you yesterday. Suto estilachthes. I owe you my life. Su crostao tizoimu. I can show it to him. Boro natuto dixo. It's important to ask for help when you need it. And I'm looking for this verb combination with su, su hriazete. Ine simadiko nazitas poithia otan su hriazete. My mom yells at me when I don't clean my room. Imana mu mufonazi otan den katharizo todomatiomu. I bring you this gift. Suferno aftoto doro. I give you this book as a gift. There's a certain verb in Greek for giving a gift. It's charizo. 
suha rizo, a v toto bi vlio. Now we have a verb that can have both su and se. Catharizo. So I can clean a baby. It's my direct object. Se. I clean you when I say speak to my baby. But if I clean something else for you, I use su. And catharizo can also mean peel. I'm peeling an apple for you. So the sentence, I'm going to clean the car for you. Tasu catharizo to aftokinito. The verb clino can also go with se and su. When someone hangs up on me the phone, I use mu or su. He hung up on me. Mueklise tokinito. To ask for someone or something, zitao. First, I have a sentence where I use se. They are asking for you, mom. Se zitun, mama. She, the mom, is the direct object. Mom, can I ask you to help me? Mama, borona su zitiso na me voy thesis. Now you decide the following verbs. Do you use se? or su to ask rotao how do you say i'm asking you right we use se se rotao and that means that we know for sure that he's asking his friend is rotai ton filo tu. We don't use the preposition se after the verb. Next verb, to buy. Agorazo. Do you use se or su? Well, it depends. In next to all scenarios, it will be su. I'm buying something for you. Su agorazo kati. And since I'm using su, we know for sure that he's buying his friend a beer is Agorazi ston filotu mia bira. We have to use the preposition se after the verb. A different Greek verb would be can now when I'm paying, when it's on me. But can now is not on my su list. 
So, it's seker nao mia vida. And the same sentence as earlier when I used the verb agorazo, now with kernao. He's buying his friend a beer. Kernai ton filo tu mia vida. It's ton and not ston. I personally find this extremely helpful and I hope you'll find this list as useful as I do. I really appreciate knowing when to use the preposition SE after a verb and when not to. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.